evening folks and welcome to this demonstration of my Casio DBA 800 phone dialer watch from 1987. Now decades before the term wearable was coined or the iWatch was conceived of, Casio was producing this smartwatch of a sort and it provides contact and schedule management functions that you might have on an iWatch and the ability to dial a phone number in conjunction with a phone. And it's a fantastic example of how much fun functionality Casio could squeeze out of uh, early digital technology. Now it uses a, a technology called DTMF or dual tone multi frequency tones to dial the numbers. So I'll show you how that works. Um, so I've got um, this is the the list of phone numbers I've got in there, and I've got a conference phone that I use at work, and it saves me having to type the number in because I can just use the watch to dial the number for me. Because I'm at home, I don't need a leading nine. So I've got a Conf2, which is I can use at home. And how that works is you get a, get your handset. It needs to be one that you can get a dial tone on. So if I just do that, you can see the dial, you hear the dial tone there. And I'll just mute that because otherwise it drowns out the DTMF tones. And I press this button here, the little phone symbol appears there. And I hold it to the microphone. So that's dial the number. Welcome to the conference centre. Please enter your and it's number, connected there. followed by hash. So a nice, useful little feature if you ever find yourself looking in a mobile phone or in an email or something like that to uh, type in a number to a handset somewhere else. Um, so I'll just go back. If you press that, it goes back to the main time mode. Um, it stores, uh, it can store 50 items, either phone numbers or uh, diary events, schedules. Um, so if you use more of one, you've got less of the other. So it's saying I've got, use six slots, I've got 44 free. Um, and it's saying again, I've got no schedule set up. So I'm going to just set one up. The reason I've got none set up is because as they um, come and go, once they're passed, it automatically automatically deletes them. So you don't have to remember to do that. So you set the the month and the date. Oh, I should go down for that. It's quicker. You've got up and down buttons too. You can make it quicker to set the values. Um, just set the time there. And then there's some built-in types of appointment. You can have an appointment, doctor, meeting, telephone call, travel, or you can define your own one and you just press that button there and then you can say all sorts of it's alphanumeric. So I can say, oh, I'm gonna be making a video, a watch video for your enjoyment. <laughs> So I just call that vid, and then it just does that sort of thing. It means it's adding it into the list of items in um, alphanumeric order. So now I've got a thing saying vid today. Uh, sorry, tomorrow, at six o'clock, and uh, and when it hits that time, it will uh, set the alarm off, and then the schedule will, will disappear out of the schedule. So another new useful function there. Um, so that's its unusual functions. Now there's the usual watch functions. Um, you've got a world time mode, and um, the good thing about this uh, DBA 800 um, is that, apart from the phone dialer and the schedule mode, it always displays the time, the home time, whatever mode you're in. Uh, so it's saying the home time and then the world time down here, and you can go up and down. Or is it up and down? That's right. You can change the, the city there using these front buttons. Each time you do something in a mode, it goes back to the main time mode. So now you've got an alarm. I'm not quite sure. That's a daily alarm, I suppose you'd call it, because obviously the, the schedule gives you alarms, but that will go off at the same time each day. Again, it's just showing the main time there. Um, you've got a countdown timer, and that's operated by the buttons on the front. And finally, you've got a stopwatch, of course, and again, operated by the front buttons. Uh, Got a little light there as well, and because it's got this speaker for the uh, the DTMF tones, the alarm's nice and loud. So it's not much of a looker, I'll admit this one. Um, but I bought it because I've always been intrigued by them and to do a video about it. But I'm actually being very impressed by it, and you yeah, know the functions it's got and the usability it's got. Um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and thanks for watching. Cheerio.